tidied this place up before then. Sooty was in yesterday, left it in a terrible mess, left his magic wand. I always wanted to do a spell, but whenever I wave a magic wand, nothing happens. See what I mean? So I guess I'll just have to settle down and have a cup of tea and enjoy Mike and Angela. He came from another dimension, from a different universe beyond infinity, and he fell to Earth with a bump into Mike King's wardrobe. It's not easy stepping out into an alien world where anything can happen. But who is the mysterious stranger who answers to the name of Angelo? Ask Rita King, whose world is turned upside down when Angelo comes to stay. Watch the show. It's Mike and Angelo. Two full English breakfast. Thank you. Aren't you joining us? Oh, none of that fattening stodge for me, thanks. No, 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 no. Half a grapefruit, then ten laps round the M25. <laughs> meet me. See you. Right. So what is it about Angela, huh? Mushrooms are good. Well, well, eat up. It's going to get cold. I've been washing him for the last two days. He's not like other people. He's not like anyone. He does bizarre things. Hmm. Aren't we all? Well, I've never seen anyone glue cornflakes into a scrapbook before. Oh, Ellie, everybody's got to have a hobby. How does he do everything so fast? What's with all these weird machines? And how do you explain the footprints all over the ceiling, huh? Eh? Well, hello, good morning. I'm not budging from this table. Can you tell me what's going on? Going on? What's going on? Oh, nothing, Mother. Well, now, I'll tell you later, okay? What are you two whispering about? Oh, nothing. Just chewing the fat. So I see. My arteries are getting furred up just looking at that. Did you go to dance class at 10.30? Yeah, but I want to know about later, I promise. So you dance. <laughs> I used to be a dancer and a singer. You'll have to see my photo album one of these days. Nice kid. Yeah. Oh, she hasn't finished her breakfast. Oh, well. <laughs> and he doesn't know where he came from or, or how to get back. You're kidding me, right? All true. Every word. It's incredible. But listen, Ellie, you mustn't tell a soul. Not even my mother. Well, especially not my mother. Yeah, but how did Angela... Okay, oh, everybody, here we go. The Nancy Mancini story. Oh, great. Your photographs. Volume 1. Now, 1950 to, to 1952. Yeah. And it all started with a dream. <laughs> oh, I love dreams. I first got smitten by the showbiz bug when I first saw the great Ethel Merman. Uh, Ethel who? Ethel Merman. I had a dream, a dream about you, baby. Ah! It's gonna come true, baby. We ah! think that we're ah! through, but baby. Ah! Oh, oh, oh. I wouldn't want to go 15 rounds with this Ethel Merman. She wasn't a boxer. She was an entertainer, a, a great star. Oh, were you a star, Mrs. Mancini? <laughs> I could have been, and I should have been, but I had to give it all up when Rita came along. Why? Didn't she like your singing? Oh, well, you just can't juggle a, a career in show business and, and a family. Oh, be a good act if you could, though, eh? <laughs> hey, have you ever thought about getting back on stage? Oh, no. The old pins ain't what they used to be. Oh, I bet you can still dance. No, 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 no. no. Oh, come on, oh, Angela, no. give me a hand to clear the space. Yeah, Wait, come on, mother. Oh, hey, so long. shake her leg. Oh, come on, it's easy, hey? Three, four. Hey. Now you.
star is reborn. Now listen to this. Wanted. Vivacious young singer-dancers for top musical. What do you reckon? Mm, terrific. You're a vivacious young singer-dancer. Are you implying that I can't sing or dance? Young, mother, young. Well, who says I'm not young? Your birth certificate. <laughs> All right, listen to this. Wanted. A unique act. Well, I'm unique, aren't I? What? Mother... That says wanted, one unicycling cat. Put your glasses on. Oh, yeah. What has gotten into you? Well, you're never too old to make a comeback. Oh, come back from where? <laughs> you were never there. I'll have you know I was in the original production of South Pacific. Oh, yeah? Yeah. What were you, head coconut? <laughs> you were born to mock. I was born to entertain. Here it is. Urgently required seasoned performer for major West End production. <gasps> Bingo! Yeah, will be when you've closed the theater down. <laughs> this is it. This is the one. Oh, mother. You're not seriously thinking of going through with it, are you? you just try and stop me. <gasps> Jeepers, the auditions are this afternoon. Gives me just enough time to brush up the old act. Huh, forget the brush. Get a shovel and dig it up. <laughs> There's no business like show business like no business I know. <laughs> I still can't believe this is where you came from, Angela. It is. Somewhere in here is home. Looks like a perfectly ordinary old wardrobe to me. You're sending me up, aren't you? Jeremy Beadle's going to step out any moment to stick a microphone under my nose. So where's the hidden camera, eh? Hmm. Still not convinced. No. OK. All that's needed is a little leap of the imagination. Ah! Leap? <laughs> Still think I'm sending you up, eh? You're right. I am. <laughs> oh, yes. You'll see things a lot differently from up here. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, this is amazing. Oh, I take it all back. You're going to like living here, kiddo. From now on, your whole world is about to turn upside down. <laughs> For you, Fanny Faithless, guess who's just landed themselves a plum roll? Ah, uh, plum roll. I'm um, little Jack Horner. Now listen here, Rita King. I'm on cloud nine, and you're not gonna knock me off. Oh, hey, people, get a load of this. I got the star part. No! Yeah! No! Congratulations! Who's kidding? Uh oh, oh! I, I was fabulous. I bowled them over. They said they'd never seen anything like it. Oh, yeah, I can believe it. I walked out on that stage, and after all these years, I felt like I was at home. The glare of the lights, the smell of the grease paint. Oh, I tell you, it took me back 40 years. Oh, uh, when you nervous? Nancy Mancini nervous? Get out of here. I opened my mouth and it all poured out. Ah, so you were nervous. Oh. Well, congratulations. Hey, 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 get back. Get back. Give the star some room. These autograph hunters. Get back, get back, get back. Clear the way. Clear the way. Big star coming through. <sighs> now that is the price you pay for being a celebrity. Still, you'd better get used to it. From now on, your life's not going to be your own. Breakfast! What's happened to my bedroom? Do you like it? Do you like it? Yes. I just thought a famous artiste like you deserved only the best. I designed it all myself. I you hope mean, I didn't disturb you. You mean you redecorated my bedroom while I was asleep? Well, you can't deny a star her beauty sleep. The new pyjamas were the hardest part. <gasps> <laughs> ah, the papers. 
Wait a minute. These are all creased. Somebody has been reading these. Oh, take them away. Have them ironed. Oh, no. Don't be <laughs> silly, Angelo. Oh, no, 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 no. You wouldn't catch Meryl Streep in bed with a wrinkled tabloid. <laughs> Get rid of them. <laughs> oh, you haven't touched your breakfast. Ah, uh, you didn't like it. No problem. <laughs> we'll have it changed. <laughs> oh. Oh! Uh, ah! Sorry, Mr. Pinner. <laughs> Ellie, now, uh, just pop along to Fortnum's and uh, get some smoked salmon and some quail's eggs for Mother, would you? Where's Fortnum's? The supermarket in Piccadilly, <laughs> where the Queen gets her groceries. It should be closed on Sunday. I know. Just tell them it's for Nancy Mancini. They'll soon open up. <laughs> Do I want to... Go. No! Oh, you just can't get the staff. Angelo, you're very now. sweet, but really. I'd go for the pink marble, heart-shaped, with the dolphin mosaic and the jacuzzi. Say what? Your pool, Mother? <laughs> your swimming pool. Oh, every star's got to have a swimming pool. Yeah, yeah, but, uh, but I can't swim. Oh, no matter. We'll fill it with champagne. Oh, it's all about image. If you're a megastar, you've got to act like a megastar. Oh, now, Angelo, I'm not a megastar. A superstar, maybe. Oh, there's no maybe about it. You've got class, you've got style, you've got talent, and best of all, you've got me, the number one fan. Smile. No! Hi, the back. It's about 150 degrees in here. But Angelo says this is what all the big stars are wearing, and I don't want to buck the trend. <sighs> Did uh, Dickie call by while we were out? Dick Dickie? Attenborough, the film director. <sighs> I'm trying to twist his arm to get him to do a film of Mother's Life, starring Kim Bassinger as Mother. Not nearly pretty enough, of course. Oh, true, true. But she's the best of the bunch. No, Angelo. Mother. Dickie didn't call by. But come and see who did. Oh! How's it going? Only another 10,000 sequins and I'll be finished. You're taking your time, aren't you? Well, I did have to go to school. Ah, you are a disgrace to the Mother Fan Club, that's what you are. Now we'll have to call off tonight's dinner date for dear little Andy Lloyd Webber. He's writing Mother a new musical, you know. Don't tell me. It's about an Argentinian cat who falls hopelessly in love with a hideously deformed train. Any more of that and I'll have to confiscate your I Love Mother oven gloves. Ah, the doorbell. Now look, be a darling and go and answer that, will you? Angelo! What are all those men doing out in my garden drinking tea? They said that you sent them. Ah, the builders. <laughs> What are they doing? They've got bulldozers and cement mixers and they're pulling up all my rose bushes. <laughs> Isn't it obvious? We're having a pool put in. My mother can't entertain her showbiz chums in a house without a pool. Get real, Rita. He's right, you know. We celebrities are different from you little people. We have special needs. <clears throat> you forgot the, uh, darling. Oh, yeah. We have special needs, darling. You see, darling, the thing is, darling, my humdrum days are long gone. Darling, I've just got to pop along and see how the chaps are getting on. Oh, yes, of course, darling. Darling. Yes, I know technically I'm still your mother, Rita, but you'll just have to share me with the rest of the world. Peel me a grape, would you? Oh, crying out loud. Mother, this has got to stop. What's gotten into you? It's a horrible thing to behold. One's own offspring, jealous of one's own mother's success. <laughs> Tell me what to do, Ellie. My mother's making a complete and utter fool of herself, and I can't do a thing to stop her. Oh, you have only owned once. Yeah. I'm worried about where all this is going to lead. I don't want to see her get hurt. 
It's just the phase she's going through. Chuck her out of it. Uh, well, fingers crossed. Just in time to hear me rehearse my new number. Hit it, maestro. Which one of those notes is mine? I feel a sudden urge to sing the kind of ditty that evokes the spring. So control your desire to curse while I crucify the verse. This verse I've started seems to me the tin pan antithesis of melody. So to spare you all the pain, I'll skip the darn thing. And to sing the refrain. Re, 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 re. A do, so, mi, la, so, fa, la, so. The night is young, the skies are clear. And if you wanna go walking, dear, it's delightful, it's delicious, it's the lovely. I understand the reason why you're sentimental, cause so am I. It's delightful, it's delicious, it's the lovely. You can tell at a glance what a swell night this is for romance. You can hear dear Mother Nature murmuring low. Let yourself go so, please be sweet, my chickadee. And when I kiss you, just say to me, it's delightful, it's delicious, it's delectable, it's delirious, it's dilemma, it's the limit, it's the looks, it's the lovely. Oh, mother! Oh, mother, are you all right? Oh, it's my ankle, my ankle! Oh, no! Oh, some people have all the luck. Oh, oh darling. Your second big break this week. Ah, oh! oh, I had it coming. Who was I trying to kid? I'm a has-been that never was. Oh, now that's not true. You were good. I never knew you had it in you. Yeah, well, who's gonna know about it now? My comeback is history. Kaput. Over. Oh, there'd be other shows. Yeah. Nah. The only cast I'll ever be part of is this sucker over here. <laughs> My only regret is I let everybody down. Who's going to take the leading part in the show now? I'll do it. <laughs> I'll play your part. Yeah, that's the answer. You? It's obvious. Now, where's your costume? Uh, no, wait a oh, minute. Oh, yes. Angelo, not now. You can try it on a little bit later, but not now. Please, Angelo, not now. What's <laughs> your costume? <laughs> you were stuffing in a mountain lion. As a goose. Not a goose. The goose. Mother, Mother goose. <laughs> <laughs> when it comes to stars, Mother out twinkles them all. Right, Mother? <laughs> Wrong, Angelo. I started off thinking I was a spring chicken, got a part as a goose, and ended up looking like a turkey. <laughs> oh, well. That's show business. Darling. <laughs> On next week's show... Marjorie? Marjorie? I don't know her, do I? That must do, Mr. Pinner. We're all looking forward to meeting her, though. Well, let's just hope she's more sensible than that half-baked border of yours. Oh, come on, be fair. Angelo's been on his absolute best behavior the last few days. I mean, really, we've hardly heard a peep out of him. Oh. She's here, she's here!